or if you are new here for the first time, then hello, welcome. In today's video, I am sharing with you three ways to style your sideboard or console table for fall time. I know that sideboards and console tables can be a little difficult to style, so I thought that this would be a fun fall video. I hope that you have been enjoying all of my fall content. I have really been enjoying filming everything for you, and this was one of the last spaces in our home, at least in our main living area, that I wanted to style. So I thought, why not show you three different ways, give you all of the inspiration, and hopefully each and every one of you will find a styling that you like the most. I would love to hear in the comments down below which one was your favorite. I will let you know which one was mine a little bit later in the video. If you are not already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me over on Instagram. I post so much over there and do a lot of fun giveaways. As always, I will try to link as much as I can for you showing in today's video in the description box down below. Unfortunately, our sideboard that I'm going to be sharing with you is not available anymore, which I'm so sad about, but I will try to find you guys something similar and link it down in the description if I can. I wanna thank you guys so much for being here for today's video and supporting my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. For this first look, I am starting with our lamp from Target and then taking our vase from Kirkland's that I picked up over a year ago. They sadly have not restocked this vase, but if they ever do, I will let you guys know. Then I'm taking my A floral stems. These are so beautiful and hands down my favorite fall stems. They definitely are a little steep in price, but I can assure you they are so worth it and they will last you for years with the high quality of them. Next, placing this framed art, I got the frame from Frame It Easy and the art from Etsy, which I will have linked below for you. Next, I'm taking a coffee table book and I'm going to be layering that right in front of that framed art that we placed down. Taking these cute little stone mushrooms that I got from Target, I'm going to be placing those right on top of that coffee table book. These were a must have for me from the fall collection that released at Target. I will have these linked below for you. Then I'm taking this pumpkin candle that I picked up from Home Goods, and I'm going to be placing this next to the book and mushrooms that we just placed down to finish off this look. For the second look, I'm taking this vase that I picked up from Target, and then I'm going to be layering it with this vintage vase that I got from the Vintage Market a few years ago. I really like this layered look. And then I'm taking these stems from Target, and I'm going to be placing those into the bigger vase. I'm only using two stems, and as you can see, I'm really making sure to feather out each and every stem to make sure we have a nice and wispy, simple look. Next, I'm going in with another coffee table book. This one is hands down my favorite. The size of it is great, and I love the linen cover on it. Then I'm taking one of the best sellers from Target. This little lamp has been my favorite. It used to be in our kitchen, but I recently got a new one, so I thought I would try and style it over here, and I actually really like the way that it looks. 
I originally wanted to use this art piece that I found at Target, but I really just didn't like the gold frame with this decor. So I ended up taking it away and I ended up using my green tin boxes. I still don't know how I feel about these green tin boxes. I think I'm still going to take them back because I've never been 100% happy with them, but I do like the way that it kind of completes this look. You'll have to let me know what you think of it in the comments below. To finish off this look, I'm just taking my black metal chain and layering that right on top of the book and placing a cute little woven pumpkin by the vases. For the third and final look, I'm bringing back that gold framed art piece, going to be layering that right in front of the mirror, and then I'm taking these two taper candles that are from Amazon. They are remote controlled, which I love. Taking another coffee table book and this beautiful faux leather pumpkin that I got for, I believe, 90 cents last year from Hobby Lobby. Such a steal. I highly recommend going on Black Friday. They put everything on sale and it was such a blast to go with some of my girlfriends. Next, I'm taking my two amber glass vases. The big one is from Target, and I believe the smaller, skinnier one is also from Target. Unfortunately, both of these are unavailable. I got them a couple years ago. And then I am taking some of my favorite fall stems that Target has ever released. Sadly, they have never brought them back, but they are a neutral girl's dream. They are perfect for the fall season, but they are not too colorful. I'm going to be layering in four of those and that will complete this third look. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I would love to hear what your favorite styling was. Was it one, two, or three? Let me know in the comments below. My personal favorite was the first styling and that is what actually stuck. So we have that in our home right now, styled the way that you saw it. I can't wait to hear which one was your favorite. Thank you so much for being here for today's video. If you're not already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me over on Instagram and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!